Hello there and welcome to episode 2 of my Wolves Let's Play series here on YouTube. I'm Tom Rouse and as you can see we've been on a very very good run of, of late. Uh, we've only drawn two games as well against Reading and Ipswich. We've won all the other games so far this season. Not the best defensively, we've only kept two clean sheets this season but we're sitting pretty in the league if I just show you. Um, second, three points clear of Fulham and we're playing Newcastle today. Uh, we're still in the cup competitions as well. We've got Middlesbrough in the third round of the EFL Cup as well. Uh, but let me just show you some of the results then. We this was the game that we I had a live com on last time was Rotherham. Then we had a four one win against Plymouth where I changed a lot of the team, playing quite a few young players uh, and players who didn't get a chance to play in the first game. Morgan Gibbs White in fact scored his first goal for the club, so let's have a look at that. Also Max Power and Christian. Batocchio scored their first goals too in a dominant performance but this was the highlight for me Ben Marshall on the wing crossed it in and Morgan Gibbs White with a volley for his first goal for the club so fantastic for him and putting us through to the next round of the cup uh, then we had a good comeback against uh, Reading who took an early lead and with Swift and Williams putting them 2-0 up at half time but then Daniel Johnson and Helder Costa scoring with 15 minutes left um, then against Ipswich a real disappointing game really we took a two goal lead uh, but then Tom Lawrence scored a wonder goal for Ipswich to make it 2-1 they drew level end at 2-2 with Brett Pittman before Max Power scored his first league goal for us uh, to make it 3-2 but then we couldn't hold on and Diagora scoring with five minutes remaining there so that was a little disappointing spell there, two, you know, diff two, well, one point gained and then two points lost really. Uh, but then a really good performance against Birmingham, uh, two goals from our star man that he's become, uh, Wolf Ikrem. If I show you some of these, uh, well, his goals in this game, um, a goal really early in the game and then we held on a bit. We were under quite a bit of pressure. But we managed to nick a goal in stoppage time as well to make it 2-0. Um, Blues not doing particularly well in the league. They're near the bottom. Here's the first goal. I come there, you can see starting it and then continuing his run forward in that attack, advanced play, make a roll uh, to get the goal there. Three minutes in. And then near, right near the end of the game, good goal there from a from the penalty spot to volley into the top corner. Danny Bart, man of the match for that game as well. Good 24 interceptions he made during that game. And then a good win against Wigan in the uh, EFL Cup. Niall Ennis scoring two goals, but he came off injured. Uh, he's just come back from his injury now, but so hopefully he'll be ready for the Middlesbrough EFL Cup game there. Uh, Huddersfield then we went to, and a late, late comeback, uh, having conceded really early in the game we managed to get a goal back from Bodvarsson with eight minutes to go and then an own goal shortly before the end to seal the three points for us but quite a poor performance really caught on the break here um, for their goal really early in the game within the first minute Van La Parra getting down that right hand side causing us all sorts of problems and then Naki Wells tapping it in there for to make it 1-0. We had to wait a long time and it looked as if Huddersfield were going to get the three points and they were having chances here Look, at, but we managed to clear it eventually. Helder Costa with long ball and then Bod Varsen with a great tackle and then from long range great goal to level it up and then with minutes left you can see Huddersfield still having a lot of possession a lot of the chances but then an Another little breakaway, Helder Costa again at the heart of it, puts the ball in and Stankovic puts it into his own net. So that was another good win. Um, Burton, quite routine, again early goals, Batoccio and Wolf Ikram scoring in the first 10 minutes. And then we've just had this game here against Barnsley which was quite end to end, we went 3-0 up. And then poor second half performance, Courtney Hall's own goal. But a win nonetheless, which keeps us in the hunt for promotion at the moment. We're second in the league. We've won five, drawn two. 
17 points, which is a good haul for us at the moment. Um, Wolf Icrim as well is joint second top scorer with five, but Varson has played well in all the games and held Costa with four assists. Cavalier has been a little bit quiet so far, not as many, not as much impact as Costa at the moment. But we've had a really settled squad as well, really settled team playing this formation. I've decided to pull Icrim up a little bit further. Uh, to play him behind Bodvarsson and it's worked really really well he's scored five goals there Cavaliero not not making as big an impact as I would have liked but still he's playing well Johnson and uh, Power have alternated in this role as well as Sice as well who's played quite a bit uh, and I may play him against Newcastle away because of it being a tough game and we could be under the, a lot of pressure so he might be good to play somebody a little bit more defensive um, with the option then of Johnson coming on from the bench maybe in the second half right so as we head into the game then against Newcastle I'm going to stick with the same team I think I'm going to change well I've changed the mentality to counter I've been on um, standard for quite a lot of this season uh, and we're going to sit slightly deeper and try and exploit the middle as well. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that. It's going to be um, a tricky game, our toughest test so far. And we'll be hoping to get some kind of a result. A draw, I think, in this game would be quite pleasing. But we'll see. Um, we'll see what we can do now. We can see we're quite considerable underdogs here away at Newcastle, which of course in real life was a game that we surprised everybody and won. So I'm going to try and close down John Joe Shelby and we're going to tackle Matt Ritchie hard just to try and stop, their, stop them being as uh, effective as they have been. We've been a really good run recently. Let's see if we can get some green. You can see the morale is all very good. I've had a few complaints from Ben Marshall because he hasn't played very much. But maybe he's in with a chance now. If Cavalier fails again today, maybe I'll consider playing um, Marshall in the next couple of games. He's played all the cup games and I think he's come on occasionally from the bench. But he's not been... He's not been a key for us. Here's a chance for Newcastle, and we managed to clear it away. And get the goal kick. No highlights in the first 20 minutes, which we are happy with. We got having slightly more possession as well. Half an hour in, and still no highlight. Oh, we've got a highlight now. Here's Silvio with a throw in from the right hand side. Cavaliero skips past his man, and Batoccio hits it and hits the post. Didn't fall to Costa there either for the follow up. So, Wolves, probably the best. Well, the only chance that we've seen so far we're having slightly more possession uh, the foul count is going up a little bit but we've asked them to get stuck in for this game because it's going to be a tough game but if we can get to half time at 0-0 that would be very good Borthwick Jackson has picked up a little knock but that's a good half for us don't know where they're now I think we might go to standard Maybe try and exploit the flank where Costa is at. A little bit of green there for the defence, which is what we need really, because we're going to come under some pressure, you'd imagine, in this second half. A chance here for Newcastle, Gale, and a good save by Akimi there. Very, very good chance for Newcastle early on in the second half and Anita with the corner but it's cleared away by Bart and Shelby will pick it up he's under pressure though straight away from our player who's pushed him right back into his own half and that's the end of that highlight so that's good defending from us slightly more possession again in the second half as the game has gone on but here's a chance maybe for Newcastle Anita, Shelby gets it out to Richie Anita Shelby they're playing the ball quite nicely. Richie, that ball comes into the box, but Kimi comes and collects it. Now can we make something happen? Kimi plays it long, but Varson wins the header. 
And then you lose that, and Atsu comes forward down the left hand side, and the tackle is missed there. Atsu into the box, and Borthwick Jackson's given away a penalty, and he could be sent off. He was already on a yellow card. This would be a terrible start to the second half. If it is a red, it is. He's gone. A silly, silly, silly tackle. Fortunately, we've got Matt Doherty on the bench. <sighs> oh dear. I think um, Patoccio's going to make way. He's Wolf Icrum's going to come back into. He's still going to play as an advanced playmaker. We're still going to try and make chances. We're not 1 0 down yet either. So let's see if. Uh, Let's see if we can make something happen here. Penalty then. John Joe Shelby looks like he's going to be taking it. Can Carla Kimi save it? Here he comes. He sends the keeper the wrong way and it's 1 0 to Newcastle. <laughs> Could this be our first defeat of the season? Carla Kimi went very, very early, running in fact to the post. John Joe Shelby's put them 1 0 up. Anyway, here's a chance to Silvio Sice through to Cavaliero inside to Bob Varson who hits it and it's gone in. It has gone in. It's Helder Costa has tucked it home. It looked like Bob Varson might have scored the goal, but in fact, well, let's have a look at it again. Good ball from Sice there to Cavaliero, squaring it to Bob Varson who hit it first time. Darlow pushed it onto the post. He sort of flicked it <laughs> into the path of Costa. Who's tapped it home and Wolves a level now? So it's been a bit, bit of a wild ten minutes or so. I'm going to leave the game play for an extra five minutes or so. See what happens before I change it. They've taken Matt Ritchie off. We've got 25 minutes left. And we're drawing. I'm going to bring Daniel Johnson on for size. So we're going to go for it. Going to try and get the win. Daniel Johnson's going to play as a deep line playmaker though, so we're not going mad, we're just making a slight change to the midfield to try and get the ball forward a little bit quicker, maybe to Bob Varson and to Cavaliero and see if we can nick a win, which would be an excellent result, especially down to 10 men. 10 minutes to go then, Akimi plays it long, Wolf Icrim adds a Helder Costa, now what can he do? He tries to go past his man, he's forced out wide and loses out, but the ball gets played was the army now Newcastle come on the attack Murphy out wide to Gamez Anita plays it long and it's crept in the army scored looked like a poor bit of goalkeeping from Carla Kimi Gamez Anita to the army well it was a very very good finish right in the corner some of our defenders were calling for offside not given and could this be our first defeat of the season then uh, I'm going to bring Andy Vyman on uh, for Cavaliero I'm going to try and go for it Helder Costa is going to play down the centre just behind um, those two it's the first time we've gone two up front At any point this season, oops. Oh, let's see what we can do then. We're not going to go overload because we don't. Uh, we haven't got a particularly good goal difference, so we don't want that to get really badly affected. But this will be a disappointing defeat in the context of the season. And it looks like it is going to be defeat. There's only 30 seconds to go now. Um, but we have got a free kick. Helder Costa whips it into the box. And it's headed away by Hanley. And that will surely be that. The army brings it up to halfway. And Wolf Icon wins it. But that's the end of the game. A disappointing defeat for us. But one of the toughest games of the season so far. And had Borthwick Jackson not given away that penalty. And not got sent off the start of the second half. We could have been looking at at least a draw, but disappointing nonetheless. It hasn't affected the table that much because we've played the night before everybody else. But never mind. Thank you very much for joining me again on this uh, live commentary. The next game, I'm not sure when it will be, 
Uh, maybe this Villa match here at the end of October. I'm going to try and just play a few games and then come back uh, for maybe the big games. Um, hopefully we can get a bit of form back again uh, with Brentford, Wigan and Norwich in the league before that Villa game. We'll see, uh, see you again soon. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, then don't forget to like it. If you want to see more of these Wolves football managers, then subscribe because they'll be every couple of days now. Uh, so thank you very much again, and I'll see you soon.